the MLS 4X Commando. It's a four shot rocket launcher. It's really good. But uh, yeah, cue the video. Next up on the video, since you guys just seen the video of the leak stratagem, we have some new armors and weapons I want to go over as well. So the first armor you have on screen right now is at the primitive armor set. This was leaked a while ago. People haven't figured out how they're going to add this yet, but there was so much more guns leaked with it as well. In the same theme and designs, so people have been speculating that maybe it's possibly going to be a primitive themed warbound. And stuff like that, but as you guys can see on the screen, the armor looks pretty cool. But after you've seen the armor and thinking about it, we also have some guns that have been leaked, and they also have the same exact theme. The first one on screen right now, I believe it's a secondary weapon, it looks like a pistol. I do apologize, it's not textured in. It looks like a pistol of a primitive weapon, it has two horns on the front of it. It looks really freaking cool, it has rope wrapped around it. It's definitely got to be a secondary. Um, after going over this pistol, we do in fact have some attachments as well. Now, I don't know if these are going to be part of it. These were also leaked in the same exact area, so it's possibly going to be part of it. We do in fact have another weapon that was leaked. It's some kind of grenade that has spikes on it all around it, so it's definitely primitive themed. People are thinking it might be a grenade that you toss down and these spikes get shot out of it. Next up, we have a brand new sniper rifle that has the same design as the armor and the pistol we were referring to earlier. It has a primitive bone design hanging down off the barrel and some other weird designs. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a stratagem sniper rifle. It often looks hella similar to the 50 cal. This might be a primary weapon you unlock. Room for debate and speculation now. If you guys are still watching the video at this point, why not like and subscribe? You know, leave a comment, it definitely means a lot, and you know, I try to get one of these held ever videos up every single day. We do patch notes, leaky videos, news, all type of content for Helldivers too. So yeah, hit that like and subscribe button, it means a lot, thank you. Alright, back to the video. So next up we have some new grenades as well, another type of grenade. Now I can't tell what this looks like, it's definitely not a flashbang, it looks like a cylinder on a stick with a little um, grenade pulley thing on top of it. Now there was a that might look just like this, it's hard to say though. So we do in fact have a leaked new gun, people are claiming it's going to be a new gun because one of the attachments that was leaked was a magazine that looks heavily similar to this gun that's based in real life. The name of the so called gun I'm talking about is going to be the PP-19 Bison. Um, so it has a cylinder magazine that whenever you need to load the gun you pop the magazine out and slide a new one in. Um, it definitely seems like Helldivers 2 is trying to go towards old school based off a lot of real guns. Like I said, the attachment was leaked. It goes for this type of gun. So it definitely makes sense for them to add it. Next up, we have a brand new stratagem weapon. It's called Weapon Slash Chem Gun Chem Gun. Now, this gun looks really menacing. It looks like a copy and paste of the flamethrower. The only difference is it doesn't shoot fire. It's going to shoot some kind of chemicals out of the weapon. Which I'm guessing it's going to do a lot of damage to bugs and depending what upgrades or what perks it has, it might do a lot of damage to bots as well. Now this isn't the only chemical weapon that I have for this video. We also had a recent leak for gas grenades recently. Now I don't know if it's going to be based off real life, life like mustard gas or it might be straight, be the straight chemical gas. But it was definitely leaked nonetheless. Um, this grenades and chem flamethrower might go hand to hand with each other. Now, I don't know if you guys have witnessed this or experienced this. A couple days ago, while recording game footage for a video, I experienced seeing a giant pink mystery mark on one of the snow planets. Me and my friend both screenshot it. I have a screenshot on screen right now, as you guys can see. Um, I don't know if this is going to be for a future mission, side quest, or if it's for an enemy or something, but it was just a giant mystery pink mark in the middle of nowhere, just sitting there. It couldn't break, shoot it, or do nothing to it. It was just casually sitting there. This video, we got some brand new leaks for automatons. So digging through Reddit, I found some more leaks. Um, we have a automaton flame trooper backpack, as well as the flamethrower weapon, as you guys can see on screen right now. I know in a past video I mentioned how this this weapon might be a new gun for us, but I was wrong. It looks like these new weapons are going to be from the automatons. 
They're adding flamethrower troopers to them to make them more harder and difficult to fight. It's definitely a scary thing. But you know, it was bound to happen eventually, I suppose. Now we also got another new image leak for something. It's called Strange Case Icon Nuclear Football. I don't know what this is going to be for exactly or what this is for. It might be for a side quest or some kind of new mission possibly or a new weapon. I know a while back I did talk about how there was a leaked nuke stratagem and gameplay of it. And they were coming out and it was going to be the most scariest thing ever. I don't know if this is going to be tied to it or what. But it's still possible. Um, for the next part of this leak I want to play a quick video. It was a leaked automaton video. I don't know if this is new news or if it's old. But it is a leaked video. I'm going to play it now. It's 30 seconds long. Enjoy. The automatons should have been content with what they had. Instead, they tried to take for themselves what the citizens of Super Earth had proudly built. Now, they're going to find out just how hard every man, woman, and child over seven would work to stop them. Do your part! Get to work! We're leaking and referencing some of the creative directors, some of the CEOs. We're referencing things. So right here, I have on screen, it says not capes, but I know there's a convo on helmets. Originally, helmets were going to have a HUD, and medics would be able to see health. We can be able to get enemy outlines, but we unfortunately had to cut it due to Will having to ship the game. So it looked like they were going to change up how characters played. Similar to Overwatch and COD, medics were going to be able to see your health bar, and... The recon, we're going to be able to see enemy outlines. They changed that. They had to ship it out, of course. They did say in the post that they might add it in the future. They're not sure yet. Also, Pillistati also said, Are you excited for the patch? I am. There's so many changes and buffs and unused stratagem. Also, maybe some old slash new threat enemies will be coming to the game. So he's hinting at new enemies, new threats, and old enemies returning. So if you guys are still questioning the Illuminate coming back to the game, well then, there's your damn answer. So now the final thing I want to talk about in today's video was I had one more leaked video of the bots, the SEF true bots. Supposedly now they're going to be a vendor on the map that you can talk to that's going to give you items and stuff like that and whatnot. So I'm going to play that video now. It's 2 minutes and 15 seconds long. Um, do enjoy. Tip number 419. Illuminate outposts are often heavily shielded and are best overcome with weapons boasting extreme destructive power. Tip number 394. During night missions, Heldivers are automatically granted access to the Flare Stratagem at no extra cost. Hooray! Beep boop. Tip number 836. Lying prone provides minimal protection against nearby explosions. Tip number 194. The longer a mission takes, the more aware of your presence the enemy will become. Non-murderous butler. The election is approaching. Please be prepared to participate. Sales are the lifeblood of democracy. And also final. Tip number 119. Locate and successfully extract with intel and you will reveal an intel mission. Hooray! Purchase complete. Please note, some samples are rarer than others. Pay careful attention to what your fellow Helldivers are doing. Tip number 223. Research points are used to progress your Helldiver specialization and to access certain rare stratagems. Hooray! Please make your way to the Democracy Officer for the latest war briefing. Tip number 626. Eagle aircraft must be rearmed during missions via the corresponding stratagem. This will restock their usage and their spirits. Self-diagnostic complete. Conclusion, not an automaton. Tip number 411. When fighting, illuminate. Keep moving. Tip number 329. Each tier in your Heldiver specialization unlocks new items. 
with that out of the way, if you guys can enjoy today's video, like and subscribe. Power play starting out, y'all. I try to get these videos out daily. And peace.